In this one we're going to have a look at the resource operations and I'll show you some configuration which allows us to restrict which operations are available to a client which is using our API. Choose high definition for the best viewing experience and if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon and welcome. So let's just start off nice and gentle, we'll go down them one by one and I'll explain each ones and the difference between uh, where you see things like this, you have two gets, you have a get at this level and one at this level. So these top two operations which you see here, we refer to these as collection operations because the action is performed on a collection. For example, if I want to retrieve manufacturers, I'm retrieving a collection of manufacturers. If I want to post to manufacturers, I'm creating a manufacturer, uh, I'm adding to the manufacturer's collection, if you like, and so um, this is why we refer to these operations as collection operations. So we've seen them both already, but let's just have a quick reminder. So we'll try this out. Uh, we'll execute this, and this will bring us back our collection of manufacturers. And so the next one down, if we just close this, is to post to create a new manufacturer, entirely new manufacturer from uh, fresh. So we shall just call this. Okay, brand new manufacturer, an example manufacturer, execute this. And then we should see 201, which means uh, a new resource has been created. Okay, great stuff. Let's go back and now have a look at the other operations. So the ones where you see an ID, these are called item operations because you, you are performing the operation on just a single item. So if I say get API manufacturer's ID, all I do is provide an ID and that will retrieve just a single manufacturer. So like you see here. And the same goes for the other operation. So we have put and patch. I'll not show you put, I'll show you patch in a second, but basically Put is for replacing all of the data for a particular manufacturer, which isn't that common to be honest, so that's why I'm just going to show you patch. Pat, if you're updating record, uh, patch is probably the one that you're most likely to use because that means um, you're just updating the fields which you want to update. So if we just wanted to update the manufacturer's name, then we would use patch instead of put because uh, that's more suitable. And the other one is delete. So let's have a quick look at table plus and see what records we have for our manufacturer. So I'll refresh this. So what I'll do is I'll go and delete the new one which I created there, which was number five. And so all you do is you provide the ID which you want to delete, hit execute, and it comes back with a 204 response. If we see what that means here, it says manufacturer resource deleted. Let's go and check out our database just to confirm that that is correct. And so our resource number five has now been deleted. Okay, so we just need to finish off with patch. And then what I'll do is I'll go and show you some other stuff in our code. So patch, uh, say for example, we just want to update the name. So we'll do this for um, manufacturer number four. So I'm being quite explicit about it there. I've just called it a brand new name hit execute and then if we come down here so for our patch we get a 200 status code and you'll notice that it sends back all the fields so even though we only updated one field uh, in the response body it'll send back you the entire resource with all of the fields here so we can see it was our resource number four and its name is now a brand new name let's just check that in the database refresh and so as you can see just that one field has been updated Let's now jump into our manufacturer class and I'll show you some configuration you can do on the operations which are permitted on this resource. And so before I start this, I should point out that this is where you will do most of your work. It will be configuring stuff on your API resource here because things like routing, URL formatting, response body format, status codes, things like that, all the restful API best practices and standards are all taken care of by the API platform and all you need to do is actually configure it and tailor it to your needs. Let's start out first of all by configuring our collection operations on our 
manufacturer. So the way we do this is I've created some parentheses there for the API resource, and then we can just use named arguments. So what I need here is collection operations, and then it's an array of the operations which are permitted. So for example, if I just said get, and then went back to our API um, interface here, you should see that our post collection operation for manufacturer has indeed disappeared. So what we've done there is we've made it so that only get is available for a manufacturer as a collection operation. But we'll not do that. We'll actually add post in there and then we'll just go and refresh this and you should see it reappear. Okay, so we have our collection operations are back. What I do want to do is actually restrict this by removing delete from the item operations. So you could probably guess how you do this, but I'll show you anyway. We go here, add a comma after there, and then next what we're gonna do is add item operations. And so you just include the ones which you want to see. So we're looking at get, put and patch and so if we go back and give our page a refresh so now you see that delete has completely disappeared for a manufacturer so that option is not available to me what would happen if I did try and make a delete request the only way I can do that now that it's not available to me on this interface page is to use a tool like Postman. So let's go over to Postman and we'll create a delete route and we'll give this a try. In the top left hand corner, if I open this up, which is my collections, then underneath where it says post manufacturers, I'm just gonna duplicate this and then I'll click on that to open it up. And then we'll just go over and tailor this. So this, we want it to be delete and then it's manufacturers forward slash and then it will be an ID. So I'll represent that with parentheses. Okay, and so we change this where it says post to delete. And then on the end of here, we add a number. So we'll say that we're gonna delete manufacturer number four. And then all we need to do now is just fire off this request. Okay, and so what we get back is a 405 method not allowed. And as you can see in the Hydra description, if I can just pull this up a bit, it says no route found for delete, blah, 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 manufacturers for. So basically, I cannot make a delete to the manufacturer's endpoint. And as you can see here, it tells you the ones which are allowed, which is quite good. Allow get, put, and patch. So as you can see, if you do get an error back uh, from the API platform, some of the uh, explanations and the descriptions are really good for explaining what you've tried and what has gone wrong and what is actually possible. Uh, so can you, if you imagine that you were trying to create your own API from scratch, having to think of all these things would be really difficult. And this is just one of the beauties of the API platform, really. There's so much done for you. So that's been an overview of operations, the difference between collection operations and item operations, and some of the things are possible. It's all a lot more configurable. You can configure it to a much greater degree, but for now, I'm gonna stick with the defaults, and let's move on. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon. Each week, I release a number of new recordings. If you'd like to be informed about my upcoming videos, as well as receive exclusive content, discounts and early access to my new videos, you can join my mailing list by following the link underneath this video.